the unmistakable and irresistible color and taste sensation that is the Black Forest Gatto. The chocolate flakes are meant to evoke the deep dark woods. And the cherries, the pom-poms on the Bollenhut, a traditional hat worn in only three villages in the area. In Treiberg, the famous cherry top cake is one of a range of attractions, including the world's largest cuckoo clock. And beautiful scenery. Every year, around 400,000 tourists come to the tiny town. And many of them sample the local speciality, of course. This couple from Britain are impressed by the original version. A lot of the Black Forest gattos that we have at home in England are too... There's one part of it that will be too much, like the, the, the fruity bit will be too, too sharp or too overpowering. This is, this is lovely. Mm. <laughs> Traditionally, the cake is prepared with a generous shot of Kirschnaps. You can never have too much alcohol. <laughs> For some tourists, merely watching a Black Forest Gatto in the making is a sight worth seeing. They come from around the world to witness confectioner Josef Schmetanyuk work his magic and hopefully reveal a couple of his secrets. What do you need? Well, first, the sponge cake. I've already made one. For this cake, we need one and a half litres of stiffly whipped cream and a glass of stoneless sour cherries plus chocolate shavings as a garnish. As Josef Schmettenjuk sometimes has customers who drink no alcohol, he bakes the cakes without the liqueur, even if he personally sees it as an essential ingredient. He can always sprinkle some over the cake later, if so desired. Today, the cake is always associated with the Black Forest, although its true origins remain unclear. But for historian Claudia Homburg, the cake has its roots firmly in the Black Forest. The Black Forest Gateau became part of every visitor's itinerary. It was a time when the region was accessible to a growing section of German society. They would take a day trip to some little town in the Black Forest, which always included a cup of coffee and a slice of gateau. The gateau is just as much a tradition and trademark of the region as the Bollenhut. Hat maker Gabriela Abela is proud of the region's customs. There's no actual proof that the cherries on the gateau were inspired by the pom poms, but locals, including Gabriela, do enjoy the sweet treat. It has a special status, just like the Bollenhut. It's not something you make every day. And just like the hat, it's an integral part of public festivals, although the hat is only worn in those specific villages. While the gateau has become a real globetrotter, worldwide there are countless varieties, everywhere from here in the former German colony Namibia to South Korea and the US. And back in Treiberg, some of the tourists from overseas are even surprised to discover they know a different taste. I think that in Israel it's more uh, tasty, it's better. These ladies come from Singapore, where the cake is also made to a different recipe. The layers itself is uh, already totally different without this uh, the cherry. It's very nice. But tasting the original makes any visit to the Black Forest worthwhile. <laughs>